Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, so I want to like, uh, I called her because she was begging me, begging me, and uh, I will, and other people are telling me forgive her for do the, doing this, do that, up and that. So I'd like to like, um, her to tell you the reasons why I I started, um, um, you know, bringing woman to the house and make her like uncomfortable, something like that. So I want her to use her home out to tell you reasons so that you can hear from there. You can be able to know whether I am the bad person or she, she is the bad person. Please. So guys, my name is Enkema, as you all know. So I just want to give a brief of what has been happening. I'm not really, a, I don't really want to talk much on this issue because I think I've done enough but i just want to give, give a brief of how this whole thing started ono actually came to me that he wants to marry me and all and we gave it a thought and talked over it and i realized that he's a good man and he's worth being spending my life with and which is why i accepted him accepted to marry him but unfortunately before i met ono it's not like i'm a virgin what you get it's not like i'm a virgin before i met him so I have other relationships as well, but before I met Ono, I wasn't in any relationship at all. But then I had a friend, like a casual friend, who I used to spend my time with for a while. Unfortunately enough, I hung out with my friend and um, we, you know, had an intimate and all that. Just a one night fling in, under the influence of alcohol, not even like it's what we did intentionally it was just under an influence because we went to clubbing and all that and i came back to some alcohol and we had an intimacy the next day and i felt like it's just a one night thing so there's nothing there and this particular thing happened um few weeks before i met ono after the whole thing ono came to me and all oh, and we started talking he came to my parents paid my bride price and we got home after two weeks being in ono's house i realized i'm pregnant Yes, I didn't want to tell him because I felt like, what's the point? There's no need of telling him because we just got married and it's not like I've had intimacy with him before we got married because we kept to ourselves that we are not going to do anything until after marriage. And I'm so glad that he accepted that because if he didn't accept that, it would have been a very complicated case for me. By now, I, I wouldn't have known who the real father of my child is. So it's just that God made it the way it happened and we didn't have an intimacy. So when I realized I was pregnant, I went to the hospital. I was shocked. I already know he's not on, of course. I know he's not him. So there is no need of placing the child on him. I begged him when he realized that I was pregnant. I literally begged him. I went on my knees. I begged him to forgive and let go that it happened unintentional. And the whole thing happened when we haven't been together. Not like I was in his house or we were in a relationship and I cheated on him. It's something that happened on a flank when we are not even together. Unfortunately, he refused to accept the pregnancy. He said he's not ready to have another man's child under his roof. So I felt like, okay, Ono is a very nice man and I genuinely love him. And I want to keep my marriage. I want to make, make it work. So I just had to go behind him and get rid of the pregnancy. And that is just to keep my relationship and my marriage and make it work. I want my home to work. That is why I get rid of it without his knowledge. I came back. I told him I've gotten rid of the pregnancy. At this point, I hope he forgives me and let things go so that we can be the way we used to be. But only for me to realize that this is not really who he is. Because literally everything he promised me is not what I'm seeing at this moment. I know, I am not trying to say that what I did was so good. No. But I wouldn't blame myself enough because I am an adult, of course. And I have right to have fun and intimacy with other people. Because I am single, not married, and never been married. I was thinking that the way the whole thing went on, that Ono is a man of understanding, like his, his name is the Ono, and he's going to understand the whole situation and let it go and forgive me. Unfortunately enough, he didn't. And I've begged him the much I can, and he didn't. So I just had to do everything to keep my marriage. At this point, I am going to fight to keep my marriage. I am never walking away out of this marriage. I am not letting Ono go. Neither am I walking out of my marriage. I don't care who's ever coming into the picture. But as long as I'm alive, I'm definitely going to fight for this marriage. I'm definitely going to fight till the end. So that is it. Thank you, guys. Okay. 
I think you have watched, you have heard it. As a man, you will use the keeper. As a woman, will you allow your brother to keep her? Let me see what you say. Thank you. <laughs>